So City running out 2-0 winners in what was a well contested game at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium but the atmosphere on the ground has been questioned with some fans happy with the loss <coughs> uh, Ange confronted a Tottenham fan behind the dugout mm. and there were even home fans doing the pause and after City's first goal uh, Former Spurs <laughs> managers Jose Mourinho and Conte have both made the similar comments to Ange about the culture at Tottenham Hotspur in the past mm. Here's Conte speaking back in March last year Five days before he was sacked. I don't know, because they are used here. Don't play for something important. They don't play, uh, they don't want to play under pressure. They don't want to play under stress. It's easy in this way. Tottenham's story is this. 20 years that there is the owner and never won something. But why? Only for, the, the fault is only for the club or for the every manager that stay uh, here. And... Uh, I have seen eh, the manager that Tottenham had. You risk to disrupt the figure of the manager and to protect the other situation in every moment. I, until now, I try to hide the situation, but now, no. So what, what we're saying here is that lack of investment... That's, that's one of the things he's saying, I would have thought. Lack of investment, and Ange has already said this morning and after the game that the foundations are shaky, basically. Mm -hmm. So, what are they going to do about it? Is, are we saying the players are bad characters? Are we uh, saying that? I'm, I, I don't say. I, I don't think they're saying they're bad characters. I think they're probably saying they've got a mental block when it comes to winning the ultimate games, whether they're cup finals or you know <clears throat> games within the league, but the must-win games. It looks to be as though, as a club, they have a mental block. The fact they haven't won anything when was it? Was it 2008? Was it that? <clears throat> Excuse me, was it League Cup in 2008? I thought I want to say it was, but anyway. And then before that, when was the last time they won the league? Was it 61, a double? 1960, 61, 61, 62? Yeah, yeah, Ipswich won it and then Tottenham went, done the double, I think. Right, so is that the last time, you tell me the last time Tottenham won the league was 60 years ago? Right, effectively, 63 years ago. Massive football club as well, of course massive support. <clears throat> They've had FA Cup success throughout the 70s and 80s, haven't they? But should be you, doing... You've had Cup 84? Yeah, it should be doing better. But we're in agreement there right? in terms of trophies, silverware. Yeah? Mm. Must be doing better. OK, uh, 03 717 22 We will take a lot of your calls as well. We're taking your calls this morning. So is Anne's right to question the foundation of Tottenham for Football Club. Clive's an Arsenal fan and he has given us a, a call this morning. Clive, Good morning, morning Clive. Good morning, gents. You all right? Yeah, well, yeah. well mate, thank yeah. you. Yeah, basically, obviously, I've, I've seen the video on Twitter of, uh, of Ange talking about um, the club. I, I feel sorry for the guy because I, I think he's got lots of integrity. Um, he's, a, he's an Aussie. They've got a desperate will to win. We see, we see that in cricket, don't we, and the rugby. And I think he's just realised, what am I doing here? These these lot aren't bothered about winning anything. So I think I think he's going to be off in the summer. I, I, I tell you what, Clive, I must admit when I when I look at his body language, and don't get me wrong, sometimes after games you you you, you, you look as if you know your life's your you know your house is caving in, but. I t I've not seen him look like that before in the way he was talking. I I've not seen the argument he's had with the fan either, but Ali, he w he wasn't in a good place. No, I, I'll go back to it. I don't know whether you boys agree or not. I, I, I think he was just scunnered with the whole week, the whole build-up, all, the, all the, the nonsense about getting asked about his fans supporting the opposition and all that kind yeah. of stuff. I understand it. I think he was just scunnered with the whole week, and I, and I get it. Um as I, and I say it again, I think first, you know, he's done a good job first year. Of course, the top four's a disappointment not making it, but I think they need to go again, and I think they need to strengthen uh, and go again. And I hope he gets a chance to do that. Uh, let me tell another one. Jonathan's a Tottenham fan. Jonathan, good morning. Morning, Jonathan. Morning, chaps. Um, I think there's a fundamental difference between what we think as fans and the manager. You know, the manager is paid to win football matches and win trophies, which is something we haven't done for a number of years. From a fan's perspective, if we're not going to win a trophy, what you don't want to see is your greatest rival win the league, even though we probably don't see that they're rivals. I think if you look at what Ange has achieved in the first season, if someone has said to us at the beginning of last year, you're going to finish fifth, you're going to play some good football, you're going to buy some good young players, 
then we'd have all been happy with that mm. because there's been so much wrong with the club. You know, the recruitment has been awful. The last person that came through from the youth was Harry Kane. Sacking managers every five minutes clearly doesn't work. And we've got a guy who maybe is the right guy, maybe he isn't. They've got to back him. I just, my only concern with him is, is that I think every manager he is coming up against in the Premier League is probably more experienced and has more nous than anyone he's come up against in his career. And that um, sort of unblinding desire just to do things one way doesn't work. Mm. OK, Jonathan, thank Thanks, you. Jonathan. Time for one quick one. Here we go. Steve's another Tottenham fan. Steve, morning. Morning, Alan, Ali. How are you doing? Good, Great, thank thanks. you, Stephen. Good. Good, good. No, I've got a couple of points. One, obviously, is the fan thing about the fans suggesting that we all wanted to get beat last night. I sat in there happy watching my team and if Tottenham would have won the game last night, I'd have been bouncing about with joy, especially if City never got to score another Premier League goal at Tottenham, because that was there as well in the background. The thing about the fans wanting to let City win or see Tottenham get beat, I, 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 there's a lot of confusion in that. People see it different ways. If Tottenham won the game last night, I'd have been delighted. Uh, the way it finished, City won the game, and I come out of there and I was like, well, that was that. Yeah. I was absolutely disappointed that we get beat and the fella there just said about your, your rivals you want to stop your rivals winning if you can that's the way it went the way it panned out was really strange the same last week with the, the Man City uh, the Man United thing as well you know that they, they, they didn't want um, the same situation happened where their rivals could win etc mm. so you can understand the feeling. Go back a few years when Tottenham was in the race with Leicester. Yeah, yeah. Tottenham fans were the most hated fans, the most hated club in Britain at the time because every media pundit, every football fan, apart from Tottenham fans, wanted Leicester to win that league. And that wasn't yeah. just for one yeah. game. That was every game when it started, people realised it was going to be close and it was going to keep going. To, right to the end of the season and everybody hated in Tottenham that period Tottenham really hurt for that mm. we felt it that everybody not just your rivals everybody was against you and that was the closest we've come in as Ali says 60 years yeah yeah, it's too long though. You're right, Stephen. Thank Thanks, you, Stephen. Uh, Stephen, the Tottenham fan. Right, coming up. Uh, well, keep them coming. By the way, coming up. Where? What is the greatest '80s film? We'll discuss that one next. Oxford Breakfast with Alan Brazil. Thursday and Friday morning, 6 till 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.